Now, unless you've been living in a massive big black hole, you will know that cronuts are everywhere at the moment. They've taken over Manhattan, they're now taking over London, and soon they're going to be taking over where you live. I've never heard of them. Brilliant. We're going to make them and show you what they're like. What you're going to need is 65ml of milk, 60ml of water, 150 grams of cold diced butter, and 250 grams of flour, 6 grams of dried yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, and 30 grams of caster sugar. And some kitchen stuff. First up, the liquids. Mix the water and the milk into a bowl and then add the yeast. Liquids should be at body temperature. For those who don't know what that is, that's the temperature of your body. For me, that's hot. For Ben, lukewarm. Flowers, salt, sugar and butter into a blender. You only want a quick couple of pulses with the mixer because you want lumps in the butter. It really helps the rise. Then add the butter mix into the wet stuff and stir with a spatula. I like all of this high speed stuff, Ben. Going through it quickly. Feels like we've got some real pace. We've got that music behind us. You know. How do I know when to stop stirring? As soon as you're happy, it's nearly combined. We still want lumps of butter. Now just a gentle roll, not so much a knead. You want those pockets of butter and then let it rest in the fridge for two hours. I have no idea what that was. I'm it's really sorry, it was my stomach. Two hours of resting is important. You need the butter to re-solidify. And you need the gluten in the flour to just relax. It's gonna create a better dough at the end of the day. This next process is the layering part. You need to roll it out on a floured surface to something a bit bigger than A4 paper. Look, you can still see the lumps of butter. Yeah, and it's those lumps of butter that sandwich themselves between the layers and cause the rise when you bake or fry them. To get the layers, fold it in thirds and third again, then turn. Wrap this in cling film, it goes back into the fridge for at least four or five hours. Overnight is better. We've now got 81 layers of pastry and butter that need to rest. Then we have something that looks like that. That one's had plenty of time to rest and look how much bigger it is. That's the yeast. It's done its work, it's gone home, it's having a sleep. Roll the rested dough out to the thickness of a pound coin. You're gonna to wanna to take your cookie cutters and cut out some ring donuts. Hmm. If you don't know anything about cronuts, we're going to explain it to you very, very quickly. They've started by a guy called Dominic Ansel, who lives in Manhattan, who owns a bakery, and he now sells them for lots of money. <laughs> He's even trademarked the name Cronuts, so we're going to have to call our docents. We can't even call. We can't even call them. No. So we're just going to have to stop using the word. Correct. Okay. So what are we going to call them if we can't call them? Docents. Right. Like a proper portmanteau, the merge of two words together, a bit like brunch or sport or frappuccino or banoffee. If you've got any more, the best ones we want to hear, so comment ooh, below. Oh, oh, oh! Fugly. Cover them with a tea towel and leave for another hour to rest. Look at that, after resting, you can see the layers, they've risen. It's perfect going to the oil now. Into the oil, 170 degrees, two to three minutes on each side. While they're frying up, I'm going to tell you what else we've been cooking around the internet this week. So, on our channel on Tuesday, we cooked... Fondant Fancies! That was messy, I even got naked. Yep. On Friday, we cooked... Caramelised banana and passion fruit tartlets with our friend Ed Kimber. And we owe Ed a special thanks for lending us his cronut recipe, which you're seeing today. And what did we cook on Feel Good Food? On Feel Good Food, we did banana sundae with healthy homemade granola. Ooh, that sounds good. And then things took a little bit of a gruesome turn as Barry had to skin a rabbit for our At The Source series. And he made a fair bit of fuss about it. Yeah, he did, the big pansy. How amazing do they look? They look absolutely incredible. Genuinely impressed. I think Dominic will be proud. I think Ed will be proud. I'm proud. You guys like them too. I'm proud. As you'll notice, Ben has filled his injector full of cream. Which is what we're going to use to inject our donuts. Every good donut needs a filling. Ours are ring donuts, so they've got to go around the ring. If you are going to go to the effort of making these amazing treats, why not treat yourself a little bit further with things like the vanilla sugar, the creme patissiere. It all adds just to create the most incredible treat you've ever had. To finish them off, make some glacé icing, just icing sugar and lemon juice, colour them as you wish and decorate perfectly. Sex right there. No, it's not, Ben. It's just a good crow. It tastes like sitting on a cloud while somebody feeds you grapes. I can't tell you how good these cronuts are. They are just incredible. To die for. 
give them a go, please, and send us your photos. Show them. So you know what they are now? Yes, it's pretty obvious now. There's been a whole video on it. <laughs> We'd actually better go. Really? Why? I, I enjoy it in the fridge. I love it here, but we are filming at the table videos today. Yeah, hence why there's so much noise back there! Right, we'll go sort them out. You have a great weekend, have a great week. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow us on bong bong bong, all these different places. Bye! Love you! Something wrong with your butter? A bit tin foil in my butter. What you're gonna need is 60 mil of milk. Milk? And <laughs> Big Ben. <laughs> Ding! Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I've never been called that before.